This week's edition of Keeneland Connections, we're focusing on Millridge Farm. Healy Bell's with us. Uh, we're going to talk about Harvard of Grace and her connection here. But first, let me just start out with this is the 50th anniversary year for Millridge. It is. We're very excited. Um, there's been obviously a lot of history, a lot of wonderful times uh, before us, and we are we're celebrating it. And uh, we're, uh, we're reminiscing and enjoying it very much. Normally in this segment, we're focusing on horses with a, a Keeneland connection, the, uh, uh, the racing or the sales, and th that's true in this particular case with Harvard de Grace. But with this farm, there's a uh, particularly strong uh, familial connection to Keeneland. Yes, there is. My mother is Alice Chandler, and her father was Hal Price Headley, who was uh, one of the founders of Keeneland and first president. And, uh, and equally, speaking of sales, um, uh, my mother bred and raised Sir Ivor, who was one of the really instrumental horses that uh, went on to uh, establish the European sales interest because he was sold in 1967, 60, 66, uh, went on and, and uh, was uh, bought by Raymond Guest and went on and uh, won the English Derby. And thereafter, uh, the Europeans started to come to America and, and bought them about the American yearling. So, it's quite a connection from that standpoint. I know Keeneland's been really active in, in trying to uh, connect with the people in, I guess, what might be termed emerging markets and, and right. new potential thoroughbred buyers, but that's something uh, Millridge has been uh, cutting that path for a long time. Well, thank you very much. We, um, we feel very fortunate, and um, I'm very proud of our roots. Uh, the colors even here, the, the royal blue and, uh, and white colors for Millridge, they're on the Keeneland Club pin this year. Yeah, well, that was, again, Nick and his team are so kind to to uh, to recognize that um, it means uh, Keeneland uh, means the world to my mother uh, she's 86 years old she's in wonderful health and she cherishes these days and she certainly cherishes the memories let's talk about Hob to Grace uh, big win uh, most recently in the New Orleans ladies at the fairgrounds I think uh, I saw it was the fastest mile on a 16th in five years at that track and uh, there's a uh, connection goes back a long way to her earliest years with Millridge it does. Um, we're fortunate to work with some wonderful people uh, here here with Mill Ridge. Um, Nancy Dillman is a, is a client for over 20 years and um, bred Aubrey de Grasse and uh, was kind enough to let us sell her, and uh, so it's a very special thing. And you, uh, I think, are involved with uh, Ms. Dillman in, in consultations about the mating, so that would include Hop de Grasse. That, that is correct. Um, and actually, we sold Easter Bennett, who's the dam. And um, Mom suggested, she was a mare that um, has fabulous, fabulous pedigree, but she was a mare who had a little bit of temperament issues, and I'm always reluctant to kind of push our own stock, but Mom doesn't, didn't hesitate, and as it turns out, um, it was very shrewd, and, and so Nancy, uh, Nancy bought her, and uh, we, we've got Nakoma Bloodstock where we assist with, with uh, consulting and uh, assisted with the mating and, and such. So it, it means a lot. Aub de Grasse sold at uh, Keeneland, I believe, in 2008. What do you remember about uh, that time and, and preparing her for that sale? I remember her just to be a, a big, strong, just as she is now, a very athletic kind of filly that, um, you know, you didn't know, you hoped, you hoped, but you didn't know, and she sold very, very well, and uh, wonderful people bought her. Uh, Easter Burnett has, a, I think, a daughter of, of Tis now uh, at her side right now uh, that I was telling you it has a little bit of a, of a look, at least in color scheme, to Havre de Gras. Uh, what, what was the stamp that Easter Burnett put on Havre de Gras? Well, it's interesting uh, because I would say she has, she's more St. Liam. In fact, I was speaking to Rick Porter yesterday, and he's, um, he's dear friends of, of the breeder of St. Liam, and they've grown a significant relationship. And they were talking about how much uh, Ob de Grasse looks like uh, St. Liam. So it might be more the, uh, the sire than the dam. This filly here, while she has quality uh, of, of an Easter Bennett, she also has some size and, and some resemblance of Tis now. We've had a great run of uh, distaffers here from uh, Hob de Grasse to Zenyatta to Rachel Alexander winning horses, Horse of the Year titles. But still in all, it is quite rare. It had to be uh, real special for the folks here on the farm. Oh, my goodness. It, it, you know, uh, again, uh, it's what we all dream of each and every day. And, and, and a big part of, of Mill Ridge, a foundation of Mill Ridge, are our people. Um, we employ about 50 people, and um, our farm manager, Duncan McDonald, has been with us for 34 years, and he really emulates everything that we stand for, and all those that work under him are the same, and so we're proud, so proud of them and to be able to share it with, with everybody. 
and the, they have the treat to be able to watch her then come back and, and compete as a horse of the year on the track with that uh, debut recently down in New Orleans. Truly, and um, uh, we've grown a relationship with Rick Porter and his wife Betsy and uh, Tom McGreevy, who, who helped uh, Rick in, in picking her out. Um, is I think a drill, wonderful judge of, of yearlings, uh, Larry Jones and Cindy. You know, these you sell these horses, but um, you end up staying connected. So they've been kind enough to let us share the moment with them. What is it about her, uh, just her qualities as a racehorse that uh, jump off the page at you? I, to me, it, I, I was always amazed at just how fluid a mover she is. I mean, she makes it look so effortless. You mentioned that she'd, she'd run the fastest mile in the 16th in however many years, and, and yet Ramon was just kind of doing it so easy. I mean, she just came home pulled up, essentially. So she's a she's a beautiful mover and uh, great quality. Larry Jones has talked often about how she's flawless. So, you know, they, they always appear that way when they're winning. Thanks for your time. Pleasure. Thanks for having us.